Hello, I'm Amy Cates. And I'm Greg Kessler. We are the founders of Cates Kessler Organization Consulting. Thank you for joining us for the series on organization design. Greg, let's start off with how we define what organization design is. Well, there are just three levers that create value in a company. Strategy, talent, and the organization. Strategy means choices around products, services, markets, business models. The right talent ensures you have people with the right experience and skills to deliver. Most leaders spend a lot of time on strategy and talent, but they don't spend enough time on organization. Organization provides the environment that allows people to contribute their unique talents against a shared mission when they come to work every day. Organization allows us to get more done together than we can do alone. Organization design is the deliberate set of choices that a leader makes to create a system. This system is made up of structure, processes, reward systems, and people in a way that channels the right behaviors to deliver the results against a strategy. Over the past 25 years, this field of organization design has developed into a deep body of knowledge, a set of frameworks, tools, methods, and a common language. In this series of videos, we will share some of what we've learned about organization design, working with some great companies and leaders around the world. Amy, one of the things we've asked is, how is organization design different from organization development? You know, these terms are frequently confused. We find it helps to think about a set of decisions over time. You start with strategy decisions, then you make organization design decisions. How will we configure the organization components to best achieve the strategy? Then you select from your organization development toolkit the right support mechanisms to bring your organization design intentions to life. When should you be thinking about organization design? First, of course, when you change strategy. If you are targeting new customers, entering new markets, changing your business model, how you make money, then you likely need to redesign your organization in some way. Second, when you're not getting the performance you want. Symptoms might be that decisions are slow. You might notice internal competition, or costs are too high, or people aren't putting their focus on the right work. Last, when the external environment changes. In this case, your organization might be perfectly designed for the past. But when competitors change the game with new technology, or customers and consumers demand new solutions, or regulators change the rules, then your organization needs to change too. This video series will introduce you to the core concepts in organization design. We have made this for you, the business leader or HR or OD professional interested in designing and activating an effective organization in today's complex and fast-changing business environment.